I just wanted to say a, a few words to our departing council members and also to our re-elected mayor and also to our, our, our new servant citizens who will be taking their places on, on council. First of all, to thank you all for the wonderful contributions that you have made to our town and to speak very intimately to my neighbor and friend, Kelly. Kelly, you served Ward 1 so nobly. You protected our neighborhood during the first airport crisis of 2011 in ways that were not only politically valiant, but also personally so meaningful to so many of our neighbors. It was a time in which we could have had a portion of our neighborhood destroyed and property values might, might have plummeted. Certainly we would, have, we, we would have had greater safety issues, but you stood by us every moment helping us to fight that problem tooth and nail. You will never be forgotten for that. Also want to thank you for the part that you played in bringing the RTC Park as a reality for Easton. And Al, I'm, I'm sure that, that you also will be following in Kelly's footsteps and, and the noble deeds that she has done. And I want to encourage all the council that, that hopefully as, as fiscal life becomes a little better, that maybe one day we can, we can contract with a professional park planner to really make that the beautiful park, beautiful open urban space that it was always intended to be. Len, I want to thank you also. Because of the airport crisis, we were put in the position of forming the St. Albans Neighborhood Association. We've always been very grateful to the airport for that. And you remember, even though you were not living in, in Ward 1, you stepped up and became a member as well. So we're grateful to you for that. Mr. Mayor, how many times have, have you permitted me to come see you on special issues? And I'm so appreciative. I say these things not only as a, as a citizen and resident of Ward 1, but also as, as, as chairman of Talbot Association of Clergy and Laity, that for the moral ideals which we hold for our community, Talbot, for all of Talbot County, certainly you have been at our side all of, all of these many years. Fifty years we are celebrating banquet next month. You're about to get the invitation. Thank you all. Peace be with you. Thank you. Uh, Bishop Joel's articulation of the value to this council, I, I can't outdo that, but uh, it, everybody that's on this council knows how important it is to have colleagues up here that it doesn't matter if you agree with one another, if you maintain uh, your civility and respect for one another's opinion and you both of you have never let that slip, and it's much appreciated, and it allows for uh, quality service to the community. It's much appreciated. Thank you. Um, thank you, um, John. I did want to say a few words, and the bishop was um, excessive in his praise. Um, the experience that I've had in serving the town of Easton Award One in the last six years has really been a life-changing experience for me. Um, and I can't take credit for very much of it. So I wanted to um, list the many, many, many people who supported me and were very active in the process of, 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 of leading um, in a quiet way and in a behind-the-scenes way. And uh, so I have prepared a few remarks, and I will make them brief, I promise. Um, communities are best served when citizens are actively involved, that is, paying attention and willing to take the time required to participate by helping with campaigns, debating issues, asking questions, and being willing to take a stand with a vote, by speaking at public hearings, or speaking to elected officials, writing letters to the editor. Tonight I'd like to acknowledge and publicly thank my Ward 1 neighbors for their dedication to our town as evidenced by their active involvement in many ways and in varying degrees. There are those who rallied with me, meeting regularly and often, to help raise awareness and to help educate citizens on the decision-making process behind the planned runway extension that the bishop also referenced. And those um, people were amazing in their dedication, the nights and the hours that they spent um, working with me were a um, plot of just amazing. Sharon and Jim Apple, Amber and Sean Golshani, Christy and Brian Shaw, Sheree and Brian <coughs> Spector, Hassan Wilson, Bishop Joel Johnson, Eric and Ann Krebeck, Jane and John Ward, and Cindy Singh. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank the county elected seated in 08 and in 09 um, who really did hear us and work with us and respond to us in a way that um, that made me hopeful 
um, for how people who don't necessarily agree at the beginning of a very, very complicated issue can come together and work for the common good. And in particular, um, we have two, or actually one of our, our county staff here, Paige Bethke, our county's um, economic director, um, and I also want to mention Andy Hollis, the county manager, who I think um, really walked that walk with us in a way that was very trying in times, um, but I think we all came out stronger um, in the end, and I appreciate um, that collaborative effort. I wanted to also mention the RTC task force. Um, when I was first elected in, um, with a nod from the mayor and from John, I formed a task force that represented every ward in the town of Easton. Those people also met countless evenings um, to engage the community in a park planning process with the support and assistance from Lorraine Gold and Lynn Thomas. And those folks were Don Hildebrandt, Terry Phillips, Joanne Hubert, Peggy Ford, Michael Brophy, Ryan Ewing, Linda Towson, and Jenna Tiernan. I cannot take credit for the RTC Park, as the bishop um, kind of alluded to. That was, um, again, a collaborative effort. And without our town manager's support, without the mayor's support, um, without the uh, support of Brian Haas, who um, helped tremendously to engineer that that design, um, it would not be there. And that is just how it is. Then there are those constituents who made themselves known by attending one of the early community forums um, that I held, I used to hold regularly at the fire hall, or contacted me through email, and with whom I've developed a relationship of trust, knowing that these are people who I could call on um, to talk to them about various issues that were coming up, particularly ones that were specific to their neighborhood. And those leaders are Bonnie Morrow, who is here with us today from Easton Village, Norman Bauer and Leslie Gay in Chapel East, Jean and Mary Beth Gohl, um, Jean is here in the back as well, and Mike Clark. Um, Mike and the Gulls live in the neighborhood adjacent to the RTC Park. And the Gulls were um, very critical in uh, my campaign when I first ran. Jed Medved of Ashby Commons and Al were both critical um, liaisons to me to Dixon Square, Ruth Thompson and Pat Chapman of Chapel Farms. I'd also like to recognize the Rabbi Peter Hyman, um, who just appeared before the council a couple of weeks ago, who was um, always available um, to um, help me with any complicated issue um, and was very supportive. It's been a privilege to serve and represent the people of Ward 1 in the town. It has also been a privilege to work with and to get to know the men and women who manage the daily operations of our town. I really did not know much about how a town happened um, before I ran and was elected. And uh, the work ethic of the people who make this town happen on a day-to-day -day basis and the dedication is tremendous. Um, and I don't know that I've ever met another entity that can match it. Um, Robert, I actually privately call you my, my private Google. If I text you at any time, and Al, close your ears, <laughs> any time of the day or night, it seems within minutes I get not only a response but a very thorough response that somehow has history to it um, that only Robert could find in such a short period of time. So I appreciate that service. It's amazing. And Mayor, you and I have had several um, meetings um, where I have struggled with certain issues and you have been um, steadfast again in your ability to listen and to help help me see things sometimes from a different perspective. <laughs> <laughs> um, the council, as John alluded to, and um, the bishop, this has been an incredible group of people to work with. I've learned from every single one of you. And um, the leadership of Mr. Ford is amazing. I really don't want to get tearful at this moment, um, but it has been a privilege, and thank you. I just would just like to thank the voters of Ward 3 for giving me the privilege of serving up for 12 years. And I agree with Kelly. This is an outstanding staff that the town has. The mayor has crafted a good solid business he runs it like a business and it is a good business and it's a great group of people to work with and i'm sure they will 
sometimes enjoy my absence, but yeah. <laughs> basically, uh, you know, I've always voted what I felt was in the best interest for the residents of the town of Easton. Thank you.